Right then, it's time to get Operation Mad Rabbit underway. Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends and once again, thank you for stopping by. So it's a build day and we love a build day, don't we? So as I say, this is Operation Mad Rabbit. So it's um, a brand new in box Mad Bull kit. Um, in this video today, we're gonna just be building a standard kit up. Um, although we will fit a set of uh, full bearing set in there. But um, the, the overall view of this project is once this is built, um, we've got the Fighter Buggy RX as well, which I bought specially to do this project. And I want to combine the two and um, with the a hint of Rookie Rabbit, which uh, was a ready to run car that Tamiya did. Um, so it's going to be on the Mad Bull chassis with the Fighter Buggy RX shell, which is a Rookie Rabbit shell. And we've now got a set of um, reproduction MCI decals of Rookie Rabbit. So you can see it's going to be very sort of popping in your face. The shell's going to be um, decal stripped, primed, br sprayed brilliant white, um, and then with those decals on top. And then the Mad Bull, Mad Bull, Mad Bull wheels are going to be primed, primed, and um, going to go over with PS11 to sort of match the decals. Um, and we'll do some work on the driver figure as well to sort of colour code it. I think it's going to look pretty epic. I've never seen a Mad Bull Rookie Rabbit before, hence the name I'm calling it the Mad Rabbit. But it's just for a bit of fun. Um, we've also got a brand new set of um, DTO3 oil damper shocks to put on it as well, but I won't do that in this video. Um, as I say, the only upgrade to this kit on this video is going to be the full bearing set. So, um, as I always say guys, let's get cracking. So the Mad Bull kit is one of the cheap and cheerful Tamiya kits, two wheel drive. Um, it's on the DTR one chassis, last of the hoppers, and um, it's just a fun, I don't know what you call it, buggy, truck. The It's just a, one of these Tamiya jigsaws that they love to do, um, which I personally love. So obviously they took the DTO one chassis, they threw the Grasshopper 2 body shell on, and they threw the lunchbox wheels and tyres on. You know, and it's it's certainly got a look of its own. It's very unique. It comes as standard. The wheels and tyres are actually fitted for you, um, which is different. Love these tyres. It also comes with full set of friction pogo stick stick shocks, so they're not very good. But you know, it's a fun buggy. It's not supposed to be a top force. You know, it's just for taking it out and having a real blast on it. It's a reasonably strong chassis as well. It's a really good gearbox. So as I say, we're, go we're going to be going brushless with a um, a nine turn brushless motor, forty three. What is it? A forty three seventy kV motor, and we'll be blasting it on two S and possibly three S as well. So we're going to have some real fun with this. But as I say, the bullet, the gearbox is pretty bulletproof, but um, full bearing set to go in it. You know, cheap as chips. There's not many bearings in there, and that'll just make it strong enough. So um, let's get all the parts out. It's not going to be a long build this one for sure. But uh, just while I'm here, people often say to me, you know, when I build some cool custom stuff and, you know, we build the Avantis, the Egresses, things like that, these cheap Tamiya kits are equally as good for me. I have just as much fun opening all this up, putting all the screws in the tubs and what have you and starting the build. I just love building Tamiya cars. Um, I just love it. So anyway, let's get cracking. So that's it guys, that's the whole kit. Obviously the wheels and the shell are not there and the decals, I've just left them in the box, but there's absolutely nothing to this. You got your DTO2 chassis, two gearbox housings, um, the battery sides, front shock tower, not too sure the black bits are, um, bumper, front arms, motor mount, differential gear, um, pogo shock, friction shocks come pre-assembled for you, so does the um, front arms. Um, just um, a bit of note, I've seen people who ask the question a lot on the, when I did the part one Mad Bull video, can they put um, like one tenth Tamiya buggy tires on this chassis? You can, but you have to change these front axles because these are actually longer axles for the lunchbox wheels. But that's pretty much all you have to change and you might have to change the rear wheel, wheel adapters depending which wheel you use. Um, got a Tamiya driver figure. Um, and then three parts bags, A, B and C, again hardly anything in them and then a little bit of grease, box spanner and some double sided tape. It, it's 
doesn't get any more basic than this, but um, this is going to be such a fun buggy. So um, let's get cracking with the build. Right, we're good to go. Little three, three tubs with A, B and C bags poured in them. Um, and we've got the destructions open. Interestingly, I, I got all the, the differential and gearbox parts out just thinking that would be the first stage. But just on opening the instructions, um, you basically just build the whole front end up of the chassis. Put the steering arms on, even get the shocks on and the bumper on. So you just complete the front end first. So um, let's get cracking. Right, that's stage one. Very simple. Get the pre-built steering arms, push them through the chassis. That locates onto this pin onto, on the chassis. And then one screw down onto that. And that's that steering in. Simple as that. And then um, front shock tower goes in and it sits underneath, uh, which makes it a little bit more sturdy. That's, so that's the weak point for me, if there's going to be any. Um, two screws. Um, and then next stage is to whiz it over and fit the um, front arms. So front arms go in very straightforward. Um, they are directional, so you've got to get that right. But push that in there, that clips down. That's it. And then you've got your moulded bumper that just sits across, all lines up perfectly. We have two long bolts or screws at the front and two smalls at the, the, the rear just to nip up. Um, right, let's get them tight. And that's that section done. So that's a bumper, four bolts. And then it's just a case of um, dropping two of the, the bolts through either arm. Plenty of grease underneath on the, the white nylon to um, make sure it's going to be nice and free. But that's basically steering in and your front arms. <laughs> Very straightforward. Uh, next stage is we're going to back bang the um, front shocks on. Um, it does tell you to grease these up, but um, I won't be bothering because I'm not going to be using these. We're just going to put these on for now um, and obviously change them for oil dampers at a later date. But um, let's bang them on. And that's the front end done. Simple as that. Pretty smooth as well. Um, I know there's a lot of plain steering, but um, it doesn't seem to be coming from this section. I think it's more the from here to the servo that's got a lot of play. So we might have a look at that later, but as I say, that bit so far feels great. As I say, the shocks are um, they're on. As I say, we've not greased these, but um, yeah. Right, next stage is gearbox. That's the first stage at gearbox. Um, large metal pin that goes through, fully greased up, and then you've got your spur gear. Um, small bearing in the front, large bearing in the back. Fully greased both gears up, and then this little plastic plate goes in, which is gonna be for your um, actual drive shaft, um, which goes all the way through, which looks like that and it comes with the e-clip already assembled on it which is nice um, right let's figure out how this goes on right that's the gearbox ready to put together so as, as you saw already that's now greased up with the bearings a bearing in the end of the arm and um, the other side to that is exactly the same bearing in there greased up you screw this plastic plate in that holds the axle with the bearing i don't think i've ever worked on a tammy gearbox where there's two large pieces of plastic go inside the gearbox pretty different um what else is there and that's it on that side and then i've just built the diff up and i've really put a load of grease in there because i i almost feel sorry for this diff already <laughs> This is going to be getting some serious ragging around, so yeah, I've gone quite heavy with the Tamiya grease, which is quite a light grease anyway, so it's not a really big issue. Uh, the main diff cover to go on, and then um, three screws to bolt it down. Grease, grease this up inside, and then we'll screw the gearboxes together. Right, it's gearbox together. I always spend five minutes just um, running the grease around with my fingers, just turning everything. Um, I just think you can do it a little bit more gentle just to get the grease around. You can hear the grease actually going round as the gearbox becomes quieter. Anyway, I've done that, so that's that rear gearbox finished. So the next stage now, um, obviously we're not fitting a motor yet. We are going crazy brushless in this, but um, this is just a build video. So the next job um, is to get this little centre section made up. It's got this little thing here, I don't really call it, where the rear gearbox actually pivots in this hole. So it is a slightly different setup from a standard like grasshopper hornet shell. Um, 
so yeah we've got a mount this section and then we put the the, the sides on so um, let's get that done right that's that bit done so that's that center pivot thing I was telling you about and then I've put the one side of the battery on now if you know your grasshopper chassis you'll know that the gearbox kind of goes into there now on the grasshopper and hornet it, it slides up and down in these little channels um, I think the and the lunchbox actually um, the hornet and lunchbox have a little metal springs that go in there that push the back end of the gearbox down um, but this is a different setup so obviously if it was a standard one it would just be with a pin it would be just going up and down but this this gearbox pin fits through so it, the pivot stops it from moving in the middle so instead of going up and down the action it, it gives you let's see that on camera that's the action you get from it up and down like that which is pretty unique so as I say next stage is now to put we slide that pin in mount the gearbox and then the other side of the battery cover goes on so let's get that mounted so this will demonstrate what I was talking about a little bit better um, I hope so it doesn't allow it to go up and down the it's left and right maybe if it's upside down you might see it better so there's no if you put you know you can't push it up and down it's side to side on that pivot which is a uh, really unique design to be honest um, no idea why they've done that don't know if that makes it run better um, really not sure anyway uh, so next job is to get the rear shocks on and that's back end done um, bear in mind I haven't greased these shocks because I say we're not using them so they're very noisy but you get the idea <laughs> it's a bit noisy um, you can see that pivot thing a little bit better if you turn it side to side it moves you can see the shocks moving Anyway, as I say, that's pretty much that bit done. Um, next stage, um, what is it? Um, just to put these little um, radio trays in um, for the steering server or whatever. But um, I might miss that out because obviously we're not fitting electrics just at the moment. So as I said earlier, I've decided not to go any further with the insides because I'll be. It's no point screwing the, the mounting gear in without the electronics. And there's a lot more work to be done on this car yet. Um, so all I have done, I've put the side of the battery holder in and we've screwed down the um, rear body shell mount. So that's basically as far as I'm going to go with that chassis. So now we can get some tyres on. Um, now the lunchbox rears run on hexes and you get these nice, oops, you get these nice um, alley um, hexes which um, are serrated. A little bit like the, um, what car was it? Original Avante egress as well maybe had those so anyway that's 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 how that fits and as I say let's um, just bang the wheels on now and there she is <laughs> I love it it's 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 a crazy truck um I, I don't it, you know when you put when you put the lunchbox wheels and tires on it just comes into it so um it's got plenty of steering so it should turn pretty well um Again, the shocks are not um, greased, so it's very noisy, but I'm not sure how the stance is supposed to be. Um, it's very free, obviously, as I say, fully ball rest and what have you. Um, but yeah, that looks pretty cool. Let's stick the shell on. Boom! I love it. It's awesome. It's, um, it's just very kind of in your face. It's... Uh, this is going to be so much fun. It really is going to be so much fun. Um, yeah, I'm loving it. Obviously, it's not going with that shell. This is that, but that's just the basic kit finished off. And she's done. And I'm going to say straight off the bat, I get excited and giddy about Tammy cars. You know I do. I've got I've got a real passion for them. And I loved building that kit just as much as I love building any other kit. That's an ideal beginner's kit, and obviously, I think that's why Tammy made it but um, it's very enjoyable put together very quick to put together um, and it, when it's done it just looks awesome but what I want to say is I it's I can't remember being as excited to actually run a buggy as I am with this one now obviously this is the next stages of this we're going to change it and make it look like the rookie rabbit but madball madball version so it's, it's going to change a lot um, 
but I am itching to get this out because I just I just know it's going to be fun. Obviously, it's winter here, the snow's here. This is going to be pretty epic, so I'm really excited. Um, love it. Uh, there's not much more I can say about it, really. It's such a simple build. Um, whether it's going to um, last the way I'm planning to run it, you know, we're, we're running a hot brushless setup on 2S. Um, although it's cold outside, it's it's snowy, it's icy, you're not gonna get the traction anyway. Um, but once the wheels are finished and painted, um, I'm probably gonna glue the tires on um, because we're gonna need all the traction we can get with this thing. But um, anyway, I'll shut up. Um, a very enjoyable build. So once again guys, thanks so much for watching, it's really appreciated. If you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us. And if you do that, smash that notification bell for our weekly videos. But the most important thing as always is, I love this. Happy RCing.